All right, so first you're going to start with this picture and crop out the signature. Then you're going to make a new layer. And now, while selecting that new layer, you're going to stroke the autograph with your brush tool. You gotta make it as perfect as you possibly can. Alright, once you've stroked that, your brush tool, now select layer 1, and now stroke it, actually stroke it. Do the size just a little bit bigger. And do a gradient overlay and texture. Now, uh, copy the autograph into the Dwayne Wade picture in the lower left hand corner and make the opacity about 54. Alright, now go to the Lincoln picture. Go to quick selection tool and try to select just his white shirt, his bow tie, and his entire head. Now, copy that paste it into a new layer like so and make sure you're not missing any of the shirt or bow tie now drag that finished layer into the Dwayne Wade picture and click on the selection tool and then hit command T and resize it Try to make it fit where LeBron's head is, or at least that size. So that's about good. A little bit bigger. Okay, then hit enter, and then hit the, make sure you can't see the Lincoln layer. Go back to the regular background, and you're going to use the Spot Healing Brush tool. And you're going to go over Dwayne Wade's head. And you're just going to try and make the, the background color. Which I know there's another way to do that, but this is the easiest way. Then you can use the stamp tool. Just get a color out here and stamp it on. And you can use the eraser tool. The opacity is about fifty. Opacity of like twenty. Just go around it. And you can use the dodge tool or sorry, burn tool. And just make everything a little bit darker in here. And then you can blur it out with the uh, the blur. Tool. Alright, you should get this when you're finished with that. Now, next, you 
Okay, it should look like this. So next, go here. Or sorry, go to your brush tool and go to color replacement tool, and then start brushing the hand so it turns. Okay, when you get that, you can let your Abraham Lincoln show. You can select that layer and you can move it up to where you need it. It's going to move his neck where a neck should be. And then I'm going to Command T and then right click and warp it so I can move his shirt down all the way down to the bottom there and then I'm going to take my eraser tool and I'm going to go around the back of his head with a, with a soft, soft eraser just so it looks smooth Okay, now when you get that, you can then make Abraham Lincoln an opacity of about 65, 66, whatever. And then you can use the eraser tool again to erase his shirt. You just want to erase it where it's overlapping the, the uh, jacket. Then you bring the PC back up to 100. And then, actually, change it back to about 66. And in your history bar, go back to Master Pacey Change. And then, oh, 